You guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I have been eating so bad all week. This is milkshake with a lot of whipped cream. All right, guys, so I wanna bust all the myths about Trump, one myth at a time, like he's racist, he's homophobic. I already did the one about him being homophobic. He was the first American president to support same-sex marriages. When Obama was first elected as president, and I don't know, what was it, 09, 08? He didn't believe in same-sex marriages. He said that marriage should be between a man and a woman. He didn't change his tune until 2012 when he wanted to get re-elected. Trump also started a global campaign to decriminalize homosexuality. No other leader has done that. But that's not what we're talking about in this video today. We're talking about him apparently being racist. But eventually I'm going to make a video with all the myths and put them all together. But... At this point, I'm just milking each video. Milking, milking. Is Trump a racist? I don't think so. I've talked to a number of black entrepreneurs who back in the late 80s and 90s, were early 90s, were trying to get financing. They couldn't. Somebody told them to go check with Donald Trump. So they come back and tell me they got a loan from Donald Trump. He gave them a term loan. Show up with the interest in the principal, one check, but they had to go see him personally. They independently relate this tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This our agreement? I said, yeah. And then tore the check up, shook their hands and congratulations. Now run your business. He didn't have any problem with dating a black woman, walking her down red carpets. Most people don't know this. He did was the finance man behind Jesse Jackson's two runs for president. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm editing my video and I started thinking like a troll. Say hi to Jacob. Okay, so a troll would say that he hates illegal immigrants. Well, I mean, we're not talking about Mexicans that cross the border. We're not talking about Haitians that might eat furry babies. We're talking about, is he racist? We're not talking about illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants are criminals, all Americans. Most adult Americans don't like illegals. They're criminals. We're talking about race. When people get accused of being racist, they always say, oh, well, I have many black friends. And people say that's not an excuse. I think that's a perfect excuse because if you're racist, that's pure hatred. You wouldn't be friendly or nice to someone you're racist of. I don't think we know what racist means anymore because there's not that many, I don't know, maybe in some states, but there's not that many racist people anymore. Most people aren't racist. Most people have their own like stereotypes that they believe in, but that doesn't make you racist. I'll get into all the things and all the accomplishments that Trump has done for the black community, but he doesn't even discriminate. He wouldn't discriminate against a good friend. He wouldn't discriminate against a good business partner. And he definitely wouldn't discriminate against a pretty woman, a beautiful woman. He loves them. He dated a beautiful black woman, a model named Cara Young, I believe, for two years. And I haven't dated anyone in a super long time. But from what I remember, you have to like care for the person, you know, care about their well being touch them, smile at them, put like, but you have to do weird stuff. And if you hate that race, you're not going to do it with that person. Not to mention he is married to the one of the most beautiful Russian women ever. And he's done so much for the black community before he was even president and when he was president. He gave so much money to black historic colleges. There was a time when they had to beg every president for money. President Trump said, you don't have to beg anymore. I'm going to give y'all an unlimited amount of money. So you don't have to keep knocking on every president's door for money for help. Thanks. President Trump did that. Not Barack Obama, not the first black president. President Trump did way more for black people than any other president. Hold on. And he not finished. If he were to lose again, what would that mean for black America? What would that mean for South Carolina? What it would mean for America, I think America will be doomed. Look at what's going on in this country. We are losing our country right now. This country is, is, is literally in shambles. If President Trump does not win in November, I believe America is headed toward a depression.
We don't have leadership in this country. We don't have a leader who cares about the American people who put us first. He gave so many loans to black companies and black families that wouldn't that no company would give them loans before. And then when they were going to pay him back, he ripped up the check and said, here, now you have a company because he just wanted to see the black community succeed because they kept getting screwed over. Okay, so before I get into this video, let's just get all of the hate comments out of the way now. I know you guys are going to comment on my teeth because you're not going to be able to comment on anything that I'm going to say in this video. So you can say that it looks like my teeth are still social distancing, um, that it looks like you can run a train through my teeth, that it looks like I chew on rocks. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead, say it. I have said worse to myself in the mirror, and me and my family have exchanged roast sessions back and forth with each other for years. It's our love language. You can go ahead and try. But now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about it. Sunday, there was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life. Now, they say that he didn't get off any shots, so it couldn't be an assassination attempt. I just, I got like one question. What type of mental gymnastics are you doing to make that shit make sense? You have a man who was hiding in the bushes since 1.30 in the morning, had an AK-47 barrel loaded down on hole six. You had a ceramic tile for him to block any type of gunfire that was going to come his way. And you had a GoPro camera set up. Not only that, it was a last minute trip to the golf course. So who the fuck in Secret Service is banging a Chinese spy? Eric Swalwell, you know any? You guys sit there and say that Donald Trump is the most divisive. How? He's the only man who gave a fuck about our country in the past 40 years since Ronald Reagan. He's the only man to put our military men and women first. He's the only man to put our economy, our border, our citizens first. He's the only man to give us the lowest unemployment for minorities in history. He's the only man to give us the lowest, lowest inflation that we've had. The only man to bring about the Abraham Accords in the Middle East to try to bring peace and bring all of our men and women home. He's the only man to step foot in North Korea, and he's the only man who had enough balls to go up against the deep state and drain some of the water so you could see the snakes in the grass. And you two are still ignorant to continue to vote for them. How the hell is Donald Trump divisive? Why? Because you claim he said racist things. We've showed you time and time again that you're a liar. Because of the felony indictments, guess what? Nicholas Bies completely debunked your whole entire fucking argument in an undercover video by the Mug Club with Steven Crowder. He admitted that had it been any other person besides Donald Trump, he would not have been charged. So please tell me, who the fuck is really divisive in this bitch? You sit there and say that we're cult members. How? We're not the ones that flip-flop opponent to opponent to opponent because the mainstream media told us to. Now, unlike Kamala Harris, Donald Trump actually earned his right to be on the ballot. Kamala Harris earned zero, zero, zilch, nada, not a single fucking vote did she earn to become the Democrat nominee. She wasn't on the ballot. She didn't run for president. She had no campaigning at all whatsoever. Not a single Democrat voter even wrote her name in there to support her. But yeah, they wanted Kamala Harris for president. How delusional do you have to be? The woman who screams about democracy and how Donald Trump is so divisive is literally doing it herself. They have done nothing but demonize people that support Donald Trump since he was first in office. She has done everything single-handedly to become the most liberal senator of, in the fucking country. She's the one person who's over here to your face telling you communist mantra and you're ignoring it. Candace Cameron, look up her whole entire mantra. We're not going back. We're moving forward. We're going forward. That was shit that she was saying years prior. Go to the communistpartyusa.com. Some of you guys, I'm assuming, since you guys love communists so much, you guys are going to sign up for those Marxist classes they got going on, right? No? Okay, weird. You sit there and you tell us time and time again that Donald Trump is so divisive. And we've proven you wrong time and time again. So what is it? Are you mentally stunted or are you complicit in everything that's going on? Because you guys claim you guys are so smart, so that takes the mentally stunted off the table and just shows that you're complicit in the corruption and chaos in this country and the downfall of America if this shit continues. And I just, I want to end it with this. What the fuck do you think is going to happen should you succeed at, ex at executing Donald Trump? You think it's going to be peace? You think we just going to bow down, sit on our hands and just mind our own business? You do realize we own the majority of guns in this country. You do realize we train, right? And you do realize veterans have been fucked over by Obama, by Biden, by Harris, and the only one that gave a fuck about them was Trump. Who the hell do you think they're going to side with? Or are you trying to get martial law in order so you can stop an election and institute the communism that you guys have been wanting for so fucking long? You want a direct example of communism versus capitalism? East, Ber or East Berlin Wall in Germany. I'll let you do that research on your own. I'll tell you if you're right or wrong, though.
Trump has also donated the most money to black colleges, more than Joe Biden, more than Obama. Trump is loved in the black community. He loves the black community. He's friends with Kanye West, 50 Cent. Come on now. I think about Kamala. It'd be cool She's to terrible. See... If she comes into office, it will be done. It'd be cool to see no. a female black... No, she's half black, not fully black, but uh, it'll be she cool to see a black president, a Western Indian. female black president, but I'm, I'm definitely voting for Trump. Let me tell you something. She tries to get the black vote because if you look at her past mm -hmm. things and maybe 10, 15 years ago when she's in interviews, she identifies as West Indian. She does. She the does only not way that she's identified as, as African American is right now, doing yeah. right now because she wants the voters, That's but true. she doesn't give a fuck. Because where was she at in these past four years if she's vice president? What has she done for us? She have not Can done you shit. say one thing that I didn't done? even know she was the vice president. Can we That's say what she has done? Let's go, Trump. And I am going to stand on Trump. And I'm so sorry if that may ruffle people's feathers. I'm but sorry, really. I have done my own research. And Trump has done a lot for us more than what the media tries to portray. They're getting all our favorite rappers. They're having Megan the Stallion twerk and all of that to gain because they think that that's going to make us vote for them. And that's not. And that never got my vote. And that will never get my vote. Twerking and I'm going to stand on that. Vote. Twerking did and not having get my vote. Meg the Stallion that's first ignorant. off the that's song ignorant. that she was even saying is very ignorant. It's a very important moment and a moment that means a great deal to me. This month has been a wonderful opportunity to celebrate African-American history and to begin working together to create a better future for African-Americans and universities and colleges and everything that is African-American. Today, we're taking action to help make that future happen and that future better. Historically, black colleges and universities are incredibly important institutions woven into the fabric of our history just about like no other. Church is very important, yes. right? Yes. Colleges yes. and yes. universities. Come here. My, my defender. He's on. <laughs> <laughs> Education has the power to uplift. It has the power to transform. And perhaps most important, education has the power to create greater equality and justice in our lives. That's why today I'm thrilled to be signing an executive order to recognize the importance of historically black college and universities. Very important. They have played such an important role in achieving progress for African Americans and in our nation's march for justice. HBCUs have been really pillars of the African American community for more than 150 years. Amazing job and a grand and enduring symbol of America at its absolute best. And I congratulate you all to say that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With this executive order, we will make HBCUs a priority in the White House, an absolute priority. All right. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people are going to be angry that they're not a priority, but that's OK. <laughs> And we will pledge our support to you, your mission, and our shared mission of bringing education and opportunity to all of our people. And so I just want to congratulate these are very, very special people surrounding me. You've done an amazing job. It's not easy. Nothing's easy. But you've done an amazing job. And I just want to congratulate you all. And I want to thank you. Thank you for your support on behalf of our country. And I'm going to sign this. Thank you. Really fantastic. trying to bring truth one video at a time if you like this one give it a big thumbs up if you want to subscribe we could kick you again later please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one boop, 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 boop. ladies and gentlemen